Bike culture is a brotherhood, but James and Andrew take brotherhood to a new level. These biological buds were once on a very different path. Next, on Elevate Iowa, the Cleveringa brothers weld bonds of brotherhood on two wheels. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. I actually did a year of uh, school at DMAC for criminal justice and right about when I was about to start my second year, walked into recruiting station and had to come back and tell my counselor to cancel all my classes. I initially went to school for engineering and hated it. Not because of the classes or the, the difficulty factor. I, I didn't have trouble, I got by, but I hated the fact that it was so focused on design and not doing anything. Sitting at a computer and coding, not doing anything. I want to get dirty. I enlisted in the Army, and I enlisted as what they call a 19 kilo, which is a tank crewman. So started off driving a tank and got moved up to gunning on a tank and doing a little tiny bit of uh, tank commander type stuff here and there, but mostly it was just working with tracked vehicles and armor throughout the four years I was in. I was working full time when he got out of the military and started up in the welding program. And he had brought me in here a couple times to show me around the lab and I loved it immediately. I met Bill and Eric and we kind of put it in the works that I didn't want to work full time doing, you know, whatever it was, working in a lumber yard. I didn't want to do that anymore. These brothers want a fulfilling life. They found their spark in welding at the state of the art facility in Des Moines Area Community College. The quality of education is pretty simple because what that, what that grant money allowed is for the welding labs to, to purchase the updated equipment that is being used in the, out in the field today. They use a good portion of that money for the AWS accreditation for the ATF. It was a pretty big project. They had to buy some testing equipment. and We used the testing equipment within our curriculum for our credit students. It gives them a better idea, you know, of what's actually going on inside of a weld when you break it apart and check out the inside. It was one thing to make it look good on the outside, but if it's not good on the inside, none of that really matters. James came in first. He started, he started in the diploma program. He ended up becoming a thousand hour employee working for us, you know, doing shop duties, cutting material, you know, just whatever, whatever lab duties we could throw at him. And then he brought his brother in one day and we kind of gave him a little interview on the spot and he was interested in taking welding classes and we got him into the welding program and then he ended up working for us as well and the two do, they do a tremendous job. We let them bring in a lot of their home projects and kind of advise them on it and let them work on them here in their spare time. I'm working on a motorcycle right now and with that comes a dozen different little miniature fabrication projects that I want to do in terms of the things I want to change about it. I had the frame in here, I cut that, welded it how I wanted it. It's all about making it how I think it should have been from the factory. There's also projects for the lab. The VIN is still a 1981 Honda CX 500. It looks nothing like it anymore. It's more or less the motor and the frame are the same and suspension, but that's about it. Everything else I've kind of taken from there. My bike is a 2006 Harley Davidson Street Bob and it's maybe frame, engine, suspension, or Harley-Davidson. The rest is gonna be what I come up with on my own. And kind of like Andrew said earlier, it's as soon as you have the ability and, and a little bit of confidence in, in cutting and welding and, and manipulating metal just a little bit, you start looking at things and say, I wish that were a little different, or I don't know why they did this at the factory, but you go after it yourself and everything becomes an idea of it doesn't have to be the way it is stock. Right now I'm working on my bike. Um, I'm finishing welding up the gas tank for it and then it's going to be time to move on to building an exhaust, which is, there's a lot to it, a lot, a lot more science than I'm sure I understand, but I'm going to try it anyway and just pray it works, so learn by doing, I guess. It would have to be something ridiculously random because that's the theme of it. None of it flows with each other. Every custom bike and design has been done before. 
So if it's gonna stand out, it has to be something that hasn't been done before. And all the things that people normally think are cool aren't really cool because everyone does them. So that exhaust that I've been building takes all sorts of turns for no reason at all other than it looks funny and it looks good to me. That's all that matters really. My plan initially was to have them come underneath the radiator, collect sort of parallel and go straight underneath the motor. But when I was fitting pieces up, it just so happened that one of them turned like that and I started holding pieces up and thought it looked funny and I just went with it because it looked goofy to me. And it's kind of rad, only because nobody else has that. You can come up with something in your head and see it through to, to a functioning piece, which is really intensely satisfying when something that you came up with and you don't know if it's gonna work and you did it beginning to end and it works. No career path sounded like something that I'd want to do day in and day out. The only thing I was really interested in was being in a shop working on stuff that I wanted to work on, and namely working on motorcycles and cars and that sort of thing. And it dawned on me that welding would apply itself to that. You never stop improving. I mean, no matter how much you do it, you just continue to get better. You don't really hit the ceiling, you know, is what your potential is. Something about and just flipping that hood down and everything else just kind of goes away. As soon as I got in here and started going, it, like Bill said, you flip the hood down and you're in your own zone and it turned out that I just loved it.